Greetings Marines! Fayot here and today I'm bringing you my second build for the Lancer. This one focuses on the Onslaught ability which is freaking ridiculous. If you were on stream last night you would have seen how it works with the Recon and Gunner on the team. It's pretty much a non-stop spray of powerful bullets in the Ultras faces. Praetorians, Warriors, Crushers, they go down like poo. So I optimized Onslaught for sustain and mixing it up with the rest of the grid in a way that's not oversimplifying the process. It's easily understandable that you can just stack duration on it and keep firing, but that is actually suboptimal because at 40% you get diminished returns and we want to have a class that is functional besides just being a bullet hose. So let's get to the build proper and I will explain my thought process in detail. Here we are, this is the Xeno Slayer build, as you probably guessed. Let's start with what's obvious. We want 40% ability recharge speed and 40% duration on Onslaught. We're gonna do this by sticking batteries included and rapid deployment alongside the long hole. Okay, so we get 40% ability duration, 40% recharge speed with this combo then we want tenacious onslaught now lasts 20 percent longer and grants five percent more weapon damage and damage resistance the second 20 percent that adds up to this 40 comes from tenacious okay so i don't confuse anyone here rapid assessment when you activate the ability this perk is attached to you gain max stacks of overwatch which is insane many people were worried that the lancer would be like this hoggish character who would have to just sit on their asses and wait for the stacks to come so they could deal damage. Rapid assessment throws that out of the window. You just activate it and you're golden. Relentless advance. When onslaught is active, you no longer lose stacks of overwatch while moving. Wrap your, center, your head around this. You get full stacks and you don't lose stacks for the cold duration of onslaught. And there is nothing stopping you from using the laser whilst you're using onslaught. Okay. All benefits included. Back me up. Allies deal 20% more damage to enemies targeting you. You'll be the frontliner. You get most of the aggro. Your allies get 20% damage buff. Fitness training increases incoming healing and max health by 10%. Improved stamina recharge rate by 20%. Guys, this is ridiculous and it is a universal perk. Meaning every character can get this by leveling their lancer and apply it to every single other class. 10% more health, 10% more incoming healing, and improved stamina region, it's bonkers. Now for the laser, we're not investing in damage, but we're investing in this. The particle lance now slows track enemies for 40% for 5 seconds. When corridor shooting, that's like the 70% of this game, you fire the laser preemptively, slow whatever's heavy coming down range, and you keep hammering them with onslaught until they're dead. Remember, the laser goes through carapace, so crushers are defenseless against it. If you just slow them down and take away most of their armor with the laser, the team can get some work done. Now, I usually do not use the weapon training blocks. They take up a lot of space. They don't really return on investment because you can just power up your abilities even more. I'm giving this eight blocks for heavy weapons training for two very specific reasons first and foremost max ammo and reload speed you don't really need the reload speed but you need as much ammo as you can because the weapon we're using the heavy pulse is a bullet hose radius of heavy weapons for 15 percent and damage of heavy weapons for by 10 percent there's no radius because it's not an explosive weapons but that 10 percent damage is huge Fire rate and reload speed of heavy weapons by 15%. We want as much fire rate as possible on this. Okay, so we're getting reload speed that we might utilize after we've exhausted every single bullet in between our first mag onslaught and our second mag. But we need fire rate and we need the damage. That's why we go with these two nodes and the demolisher heavy training. Now I'm going to show you how to initiate with this thing. You locate the enemy downrange, laser them, start hammering at them. When you're about to run out of mag, activate your onslaught. Your onslaught will have a huge duration, as you see here. 
you can sustain fire for very long periods of time if you have a recon just take a step left or right you're not losing your stacks anyway take a step left or right get the ammo from the ground and keep hammering okay so once you do that you're golden you have unleashed hell nothing will be alive unless someone is doing something really really wrong always pay attention to the fact that you're dealing with a weapon that eats ammo very very quickly ammo hoarder is your friend recons are your friend and if you want to optimize damage that's something you want to do on insane and became apparent last time when we were playing insane get a gunner here get a good gunner here with a disorienting blast grenade for the stance a strong overclock build and the recon who remembers to use the drone the damage output of this shit is insane of course i don't have to tell you that you have to be using this the m41e4 heavy pulse i already made a guide about how to mod this thing and i will link it by the end of this one and you can watch that and optimize your gun as well this is only my second build for the lancer guys and i have a shitload of ideas about the class this kit hit us like a brick in the head very very powerful Wish we had it from the get-go because all those runs on the insane would have been that much easier. Sub like and share for more content like this. Consider getting a membership on the channel or visit my Patreon if you want to support me. It's really, really important for keeping the lights on. And until next time, be wolves, the frosty, and always try for perfection, Marines. Cheers.